Welcome to the presentation on Do Helpers Help and Who Benefit? Cooperative breeding is found in a diverse array of animals, including insects, fish, birds, and mammals. Cooperative breeding has three main characteristics. Reproductive suppression or delay, delayed dispersal, and alloparental care, though only alloparental care is necessary to be considered cooperative breeding. Alloparental care is care given to offspring by non-parents. But why care? Why provide care to offspring that are not your own? Caregivers gain inclusive fitness and kinship benefits, increased experience for when they have their own litters, help to gain territory, increased breeding position, and pay to stay, giving alloparental care so they're able to stay within the group. But at what cost? Caregivers have reduced survival, higher energy expenditures, reduction in forage time, and they do not reproduce in the years that they give alloparental care. There's differences in caregiver quality, and these differences can be by age, sex, class, resources available, and the body condition of the caregiver. And these differences in quality can affect juvenile survival. But also caregiver quantity, the number of caregivers available within a group can also affect the survival of juveniles. For this study, we're going to be using the Cape ground squirrel as our model species. This species is a cooperative breeder, which are also promiscuous meaning that over time, relatedness in the group may decrease. Males in this species have been shown to provide alloparental care. And these males are natal males that have delayed their dispersal. For hypotheses, for who cares, we hypothesize that natal males will give the bulk of the care. The benefits of caring we hypothesize that natal males alloparent to increase their inclusive fitness and that natal males alloparent to be allowed to remain within the group. So this means the paid to stay hypothesis. The difference in care, we hypothesize that the caregiver's sex and age will affect the amount of care given to juveniles. And does quantity matter? We hypothesize that the number of caregivers does matter to the survival of juveniles. Our study site is S.A. Lombard Nature Reserve, found in South Africa, as you can see by the red star. On this study site, we trap and we give each individual squirrel a unique die mark, which is, enables us to observe these squirrels from a distance from either a, a car hide or a tower. In total, we observed 18 groups. Group size ranged from four to 20 individuals. We found that natal males do indeed give the bulk of the care, whereas non-maternal females and mothers give around the same amount of care. For the benefits of caring, we did not find that natal males gave increased amounts of care to juveniles that are more closely related to them. But we, did, but we did find as a male's age increases, the relatedness to the juveniles decreases. As a natal male gets older, they also stop providing as much alloparental care. Natal males from ages zero to one provided the bulk of the alloparental care, whereas age two also provided some alloparental care. Age three and up barely provided any alloparental care that it didn't even show up on this graph, suggesting that inclusive fitness may actually be a factor for this species. For the benefits of caring, as males increased their alloparental care, females increased their affiliativeness towards these males, suggesting the pay to stay hypothesis. Meaning that the more that the males give care, the more 
feliative treatment from the females that they're going to receive in order to stay in the group. Natal males, subadult males, and group size significantly affected juvenile survival. After 160 days, 50% of the juveniles were deceased. Adult females and subadult females did not affect juvenile survival at all. What also affected juvenile survival was how many natal males were within the group, with zero natal males having the lowest rate of survival. Two natal males was lower than one natal male, and this may be the result of age within these natal males, which we did not take into account and will be taken into account in further analyses and is our next step. So in summary, who cares? Natal males provided the bulk of the care by significant margins. Benefits of caring, natal males alloparent to increase their inclusive fitness. And this may be occurring because as the natal males age, they provide less care and they're less related to their group. Natal males alloparent to be allowed to remain within the group we found that the, with the increase of alloparental care, females increased their affiliative care towards that natal male. So pay to stay hypothesis may be occurring in this species. Differences in care provided. Young natal males had higher care than older natal males or females. Does quantity matter? The number of caregivers does matter. With zero caregivers providing the lowest survival rate amongst the juveniles. I want to say thank you for listening to my presentation and I want to acknowledge S.A. Lombard and Northwest Parks Board and all of the crews that we've had throughout the years. Thank you.